Hello, yes, this is RetroTK2, and today we're back making our Pokemon ROM hack. Last time, if you remember, we created a very basic launcher for Visual Boy uh, so that it will launch and launch with Pokemon already running on it, which is brilliant. So today I want to do something a little bit different. I had a comment from one of you asking if I could make a tutorial on changing the starter Pokemon with the advanced starter. I want to show you how to do that now, and we'll get see how we get on. The comment itself was from Kessero. So yeah, let's get stuck into that now then, yes. So the thing is called Advanced Starter. Now I must admit that I am going completely blind into this, so I'm not actually sure how to even use Advanced Starter. I don't have any ideas uh, what it's about, but so doing a quick Google search seems to bring it up. Advanced Starter, and from here we can actually go and change the starter Pokemon. We even get a chance to change the levels as well, which is pretty cool. The only worry I have is that this seems to be in Spanish, I believe. Not English, let's put it that way. So hopefully the actual ROM itself hasn't got that problem, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it does have that problem. So click and download now, we get the hack ROM RAR right down here, or the seven zip, sorry. I use RAR to, extract all of the 7 bit files and we know that the hack rom tools is the password so hopefully we should be able to just extract this to our desktop and it should all just work fine so here it comes up so hack rom tools and that seems they work very very nicely so if i head back into here hopefully yeah, perfect. So I'm also going to put this into the programs then because I think it would be nice to keep all the programs together that we use and yeah, why not? We'll call this advanced starter, whoops. Yeah, perfect. So if I click on this and I go in and run the actual .exe, you can see that it opens up and it's also in English, which is fantastic. So if I go to file, open ROM, and it's, sorry, yes, I just want to try and get my ROM uh, path and open the ROM here, type it in. I'm just going to use the hacked version of the ROM as well. Why not? It uh, might be a good idea. So rival starter Pokemon, so you can actually choose. That's really cool. So you can actually choose to have a different starter Pokemon for your rival, and you can also choose to have... That's really cool. And you can even have them holding a different item. So what I want to do is, I suppose, instead of Bulbasaur, we'll have it <laughs> a super high-powered version. This is going to be awesome. The only thing that is a bit of a shame, just based on this, is I don't think you can choose your starter Pokemon's move set. So if I change this to 36, because I believe every single one of them should evolve or should have evolved at 36. I believe Blastoise evolves, and so does Charizard at that, and I believe Venusaur is 32, although I'm not really sure about that is. And we'll have them holding a Master Ball, and we will give our rival... Okay, so, so presumably if we choose Charizard, he's gonna choose Squirtle, and vice versa. I kinda, I'm tempted to just give him the the Eevee evolutions. So let's give him them. Okay, so Charizard would be... Oh, goodness sakes. <laughs> so if I choose Charizard, he chooses Squirtle. If I choose Blastoise, he chooses Charmander. So let's give him Jolteon then instead. Uh, since Jolteon, of course... No, hang on. If I choose Blastoise, he's going to choose Bulbasaur, sorry. So if I choose... No. Yes, that's true. Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, yes. <laughs> so I'm going to give him Jolteon. If I can remember its number, which I can't off the top of my head. Ah, there it is. Yes. Eevee, Jolteon. And then I'm going to give him... So it seems only fair to give him 36 as well. Although we're probably going to get absolutely destroyed as a result of that. So... Charmander, Venusaur, we choose Venusaur, he chooses Charmander, so let's give him a Flareon. So 
sorry about this ace <laughs> you can tell that uh not exactly i don't really know the numbers of pokemon involved as well this is pretty cool as well you can actually go the whole way down here there's slow king yeah that's awesome that's awesome they do seem I, i'm almost certain they're in order surely they're in order yeah they are flareon and then third Pokemon, so if he chooses Charizard, then we're going to give him Vaporeon, which all makes perfect sense to me, yes. And yeah, perfect. So, oops, oops, so 36, give him 36. And we're not going to give him an item for, for obvious reasons, yes. So if I go to save the ROM, hopefully that should all work. So now if I start the game using our Unity launcher, I'm just going to move Unity over here, yes, just so that it's not actually blocking our path. And I'm going to press this. It should hopefully all work exactly as expected. So let's just skip through here and hopefully we can get started up. Let's go to continue. Sorry, yes, <laughs> as you can see, I've completely forgot how to play this game on a keyboard which is all part of the fun, no doubt. Brilliant. So let's go downstairs. Just want to double check to make sure that everything's set up up here. Yeah, perfect. And uh, we could probably go to Brock's gym if we wanted to, but we don't want to. Right now, we want to go and see if we can get a Venusaur, a Blastoise, or a... Oh, shoot. I meant to actually save there. Oops. <laughs> but hey, well, this will do fine, rightly. And I guess if I press Shift, Oh, I can't remember what's to go quicker, yes. <laughs> Disaster. Which one is it again to go quick? Plus, no. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. L? K? No. Oh, we'll just watch this here, why not? We've all seen this before anyway, no doubt. Hey, hey, oh, that's right, I've told you. Any of you that haven't played Pokemon, this is the famous part where you get to actually choose your starter pokemon and which is the whole point of this uh <laughs> um is this video of course so let's have a look hopefully it's worked hey, hey look at that i see bulbasaur is your choice hmm okay so it hasn't changed the actual word which is a shame that is a real big shame but okay no, I don't. That is a bit of a shame. I wonder if it actually... I wonder if it says as a... Hmm, Squirtle is your choice. So, well, this makes this actually makes sense, of course. This does make sense because the text itself wouldn't... It's not linked to the Pokemon that we're going to get. That's just that's just text in another file, yes. So if we want to actually change this text, we would go into... I would probably use some sort of other thing, like starter, advanced text, I guess, maybe it's called, or I'm not sure what the actual name of the program is, but the ones where we can actually manipulate the um, conversations between the different characters, that makes perfect sense. And uh, to be fair, we will eventually get onto that at some, so, uh, some point. So that's the reason why these are coming up as ah, Charmander. But no doubt, that is an actual Charizard that I will be getting. And yeah, let's go for Charizard then. This Pokemon is really tribal in the dark. Okay, so I've received Charizard from Professor Oak, which is fantastic. Do I want to give him a nickname? No, I do not. And... Uh, yeah. Gary is going to get his Vaporeon. As you would expect. That's brilliant. Okay, so... And... Oops, sorry. And I'll also play this trainer battle. And see how we get on. I get the feeling I'm going to get absolutely destroyed by his water gun, but uh, we will shall certainly see. Hey, hey, look at that, level 36, as you would expect. And there's our Charizard. Oh. Oh, no, no, come on. We know how to, we know how to fight in Pokemon. Oh, come on. Go away, Professor Oak. This is the absolute battle of a lifetime, and I think I'm going to get absolutely destroyed by his water gun. Okay, let's, let's see what we can do. Kind of want to do smoke screen because I think that'll help us here. It's really the only sort of attack we can use, and just hope that we can uh, make it so that he just keeps missing. Because I know if one of those water guns hits, we are in deep, deep trouble. <laughs> so this is developing, yes. You just 
pretty much play a game and the actual ROM hack makes itself. I wish. But, uh, well, so as you can see, this does all work. It's really easy to use. You just go onto the website, download the, uh, uh oh, oh, oof. That's not good. Okay, we needed to start doing some damage because another one of those and we're in deep trouble. So wing attack. Oh yeah. That did not do that as much damage as I wanted it to. Oh no. <laughs> Is that us? Oh. Right, okay, come on. Please, please. <laughs> please it. No. Oh. Oh well, yes. Our little charge art fainted, but as you can see. It all sort of works the way it should, which is absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, I mean, I can't really see anything else that you can do. I suppose you can just, if you mess it all up and you're like, oh, no, actually, I kind of want to, you know, make it what it was. Just click default and it goes straight back. And, yeah, I mean, it's really easy to use and it does a really really good job so advanced starter if you want to use it hopefully this tutorial has really helped you um if you do want to change the text at the start uh, you would have you would have to go in and use some other sort of other text editor but hopefully that should all work so yeah and that's it go rate comment and subscribe yes i hope you're enjoying this series so far and i hope you got some good tips about your starter pokemon you can email me at retrotk2 at gmail.com with any sort of other videos that you want me to make once again, I want to thank Casserole for the actual video idea, and yeah, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.